Hi, this is Swing from City Lux again. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking a bit about Japanese papers. All right. So I think most of you already know Tamoy River and you're very familiar with it. Of course, we have been hearing some news that Tamoy River will be ending its run and there'll be no more Tamoy River paper anymore. So those of you who can get hold of them, uh, grabbing them. Um, we're also going to compare together with like MD notebooks, which is very popular. And now we'll also be comparing today with the Cosmo Note. All right. So those of you who have been following us might have been trying out our uh, paper buffet, which is actually this collection of fountain pen friendly paper. All right. It's actually a whole series of 18 papers inside there. And many of you who tested it liked actually the Cosmo Light paper and it's now available as an entire A5 size notebook. So we will be just running some comparison tests with our fountain pen inks and see how it will, whether it will replace Tamoy River as the choice of notebook for fountain pen users. I'm just gonna do a test on a few different pens. So this Opus 88 pen here has been filled with our Noodles Air Corp Black. It's a blue black color that's very popular then we're gonna test it with maybe a kyoto ink this is a twisty this is a broad nib as well this one's filled with the urahiro which is the green leaf look we'll just test with a few different inks to have a different feel of it as well then later on maybe i will do a simple cotton swab test as well then you can see some effect and to see whether um some of the inks will feather, whether it goes through or to the other side, that's how is the ghosting. So before we begin, I would just like to introduce to all of you the Cosmo Note. All right, this is actually made by Yamamoto Paper, all right, which is the Japanese paper company. All right, so over here you can see itself, of course, a lot of it is in Japanese. The good thing is there's also English translation over here. All right, so Cosmo Ally is one of the most popular in the collection over here when Yamamoto Paper came out with a whole booklet worth of premium fountain pen friendly papers. All right, um, we've done many reviews with users as well. Uh, the Cosmo Light, the Air Light is um, always at the top few choices, all right, together with your Tamoy River papers. If you look at it over here, you can see the descriptions as well. Um, this is A5. We have it in plain, all right. Um, this is 176 pages, and the Cosmo Allied paper is 83 GSM. It comes with one of this. Every notebook, when you open it up, has got a hard sheet here. This one you can see over here. It is a six mm grid, all right. And on the opposite side, you can see this is a 12 mm rule. All right, so of course it's plain inside, which is why you need it. The first page you can see it's blank paper. It, it is not a leather cover. It's more like a hard cardboard kind of cover. It's thicker. So I think it works pretty well. If when you open it up, you can see also this is very Japanese style as well. Very simple, clean binding. This is to make sure that it's and when it's trap bound, it's easy to fold flat. Let me show you as well. So this trap bound, it folds pretty flat. Yeah, so you don't really need to do much seasoning, okay, or bending of the book. So you can see straight away it goes into the pages. You can leave the first one blank because that's stuck onto the more protective cream image. So this paper, I would still consider it a bit more ivory. All right, so it's not the bright white kind of paper. Um, maybe bright white paper I can compare with would be some photocopy paper. Okay, this one's printed on the other side, but you can see the color difference between the bright white and this plain color paper. So it's slightly off white, it's a bit cream, but it's not a very yellowish cream, all right? So this plain, so what you can do is to use the guide and then you can put it underneath. So those who are using it, whether to use Chinese characters or as a grid for your drawings, you can see it works pretty well. You can still see through at 83 GSM. 
And of course, you can use it on the other side. For those who have bigger handwriting and like the 12mm grid, you can see for yourself as well. Later on, maybe I'll do an actual writing test, then you can see how it works. There's some rough, rougher kind of fiber paper behind as the protection. Okay. Then you can see the edge. So this edge is, I would say, very similar to the way MD paper does it. Okay, the MD notebooks, if you are familiar, I have been using Midori MD notebooks. Okay, you all will see the binding is very similar. So this is very clean cut. The cardboard wise, hmm, cardboard thickness, very similar as well. Okay, so, but it's quite clearly a different product because this is gray. And then if you compare it with the MD, MDs are sharp edged. All right, this one comes as a rounded edge. Um, we've also actually done some testing ourselves. So those of you who are already using an MD notebook, good news is that the covers can be used on the Cosmo note as well. So whether you have the paper covers, leather, good, good leather covers, or even the clear covers, it can be used together with this. So all those can be purchased in our City Lux store as well. Okay, so then you can see over here, very, very subtle, just a little bit of gold foil over here to show that this is a Cosmo note. Okay, so that's just the basic description of the paper. There's no pockets behind. It comes clean, so there's no book markers as well as compared to the this MD notebook here still has got a book marker. All right, so it's a very simple notebook, I think, and it's very functional. And it's been selected as one of the best papers, all right, um, in different pen shows as well, such as the San Francisco pen show. So it is good for ink shading and sheening. So let's take a look whether it is working as it is marketed. Over here, this is the 12 millimeter root. And on the opposite side is the six millimeter grid. All right, so I'm just gonna show how this works, especially those of you who have bigger handwriting or like to use bigger size nibs. You can actually use this 12mm rule to do your writing. This one you can use as a guide. And then I can easily just flip it the other way. And then I can use the grids as well. So Grids wise, I might be using it for different purpose. So for example, I go out there and I'm either gonna do some sketching or you're doing some characters that require you to use the grid lines. So you can see through it quite easily. And that's, that's pretty useful. Even if you put it, I think two sheets behind, you can see a bit faint grid lines show through okay now since i'm already written some letters you can see probably on the other side so some slight ghosting on the other side and this is using lotus ink which normally tends to be quite heavy and sinks through many papers it's working quite well okay so i just want to show as well the paper and compare with the other notebooks on the colors as well. So what I'm using now is the Cosmo note. And then over here, you can see this one is a Tamoy River. This is the A5. And you can see the white. This is the bright white version. All right, so you can see it's significantly whiter. And over here, this is my MD notebook. All right, for the MD notebook, you can see out of the papers, this is the creamiest looking. So even if I adjust it, you can see in terms of color, those who like a very nice warm cream will like the MD paper better. And uh, I think Cosmo Note is a very good balance. It's not bright white, okay? it's slightly off white, so it's still comfortable to look at. 
and of course this is the brighter white Tamoe River okay now that you've seen the colors then we go on to testing the different inks that we have available so that you can compare with yourself especially if you have certain inks that you are using okay so firstly you I think if you go in you can see as well already you can see on the air cup black you can see the sheens pretty well all right so this is supposed to be a blue black color and you can see the different shades i think it sits pretty well drying test um i haven't decided to do a driving but um okay it has dried out while i was talking so i think that works fine Kyoto ink is supposed to be a drier ink, so I think it's dry for us. So you can see even for the Kyoto inks, it works pretty well. Yeah, so this is the Urai Haro, so you can see it works pretty good. I'm just gonna write as well. Uh, MD paper doesn't come with the guide. Of course, it comes with different stuff like stickers and stuff like that. Okay, but um, since I'm here, I have already have a grid. I'm just gonna use it anyway. Texture-wise, you can feel. I think MD paper has a bit more bite. Um, Cosmo note seems a bit smoother. Based on paper feel, I think this MD paper has more grip. Those who like the very smooth gliding feel, you will like the Cosmo note more. What we want to be able to see as well, other than the writing experience, is probably how much the ink sits and how well it gets absorbed to see the different sheens available. You can see quite clearly, I think, um, the MD paper for this frame one is definitely more translucent. Just a simple comparison to see. I'm gonna remove the guides underneath. Okay, so you can see for yourself. Maybe you can do a comparison now. I can see the color sheens here, I feel more clearly than the MD. Okay, let's flip to the other side. So. MD paper, I'm quite confident that it wouldn't bleed through. Okay, so some slight ghosting as well. And then you can compare. Okay, I think overall this is still good as well. Then, last but not least, we should compare with Tamoy River paper because um, that's a lot of people's favorite. Okay. Um, only thing of course for Tamoy River, it takes quite a lot longer time to dry normally than... Okay, so this has pretty much dried up as well. This is already having a grid, so that's easier. I'm just going to write directly. For those of you who have been writing for some time will know that the same ink can react quite differently on different papers. The colors that show through can turn out pretty different. So that's why we want to be able to try out different inks, different fountain pens on different papers so that's the whole joy of it if you're in singapore you're welcome to our showroom and try to test it out okay so now we're just gonna do some cotton swab test okay so especially useful for those who use your fountain pen inks like watercolor inks and then you do some serious painting and drawing with them I'm going to first show you this one, which is the avocado from Private Reserve Inks. I'm just going to do a simple dip here and then we're going to test it across the range over here. So starting with the MD Notebook. Okay. 
I think you can see it when it's wet first and then slowly we let it dry out and then we can see the effect. Next over here, I'm gonna do it on the Tamoe River paper. That's quite a lot of ink. <laughs> so you can see over here, it's totally wet and of course that's quite a lot of ink. So it's crinkling up a little bit. So that's also the beauty of the Moe River paper. It'll sit on the paper for quite a while before it dries up. Let me do this test on the Cosmo Low. On the Cosmono, you can see as well, of course, this is the first part of the brush, so it's sitting on and crinkling up a little bit and it dries out towards the end. So let's let them dry a little bit before we can see the comparison. For the MD paper, it has mostly dried out. Okay, it absorbs quite quickly. Um, you can see the nice sheens at the edge here. Yeah, it's got a, a little bit of reddish look. Let's flip to the reverse side. Okay. Looks pretty good. No bleed through even with a cotton swab. Everybody who's used the Mori River paper will know it, it will take quite a while before it dries up. Yeah, which is why it gives some um, special effect for sheens and shimmer inks because it takes some time. Probably a bit of a nightmare for left-handed users precisely because of the property of it taking some time to dry. See, it's a bit crinkled up on the other side because it's really wet. Yeah. Over here, you can see on Cosmo Note. Definitely, I, it's not fully dried out yet if you see from the sides, but it seems to be drying out faster than on Tamoy River paper. So maybe this is a good balance. You can see like some crinkling behind but it doesn't bleed through either. By now it's totally dry on MD. MD probably absorbs the fastest and dries out fastest. The Moe River takes the longest. You can see if uh, under our frozen light you can probably tell it's still quite wet on the Moe River. On the Cosmo Note it's almost dry by now. From Probably this kind of test, you can see, I think MD paper dries to fastest followed by Cosmono and Tamoy River. Mm, I think hopefully it will dry out. <laughs> Let's move on to the next ink. Let's move on to the next ink. Then we're gonna try something that's been very popular recently. So we're gonna try it on the Binta inks. Alright. So Binta inks always stir well because uh, quite a bit of them are either shimmer or sheen. You can definitely see the sheen pretty well on MD. Can you see the shades of red, purple. Here is quite obvious for me. I'm not sure on the video whether it's obvious. You can see it. It's Cosmic Blue is beautiful. Yeah, it's quite sparkly actually. So you can see that on Tamoy River, the reds come out pretty well. Shimmer turns out pretty well too. Let me flip to the other side. Hmm. Actually, you see as it dries out, the avocado on top is bleeding through. Strange how huh? you wouldn't expect that to happen. Okay, 
And of course this one we are using is the 52 GSM, it's not the 68. Let's see on the other side again. Everything's holding pretty well. On the Cosmo note, you can see you can see the shimmer. Okay, you can see the different sheens as well. That's the reds and the blues. So what do you all prefer most? Somehow it looks lightest on the Tamori River paper. So let me know what you prefer. The Winter Ink Cosmic Blue on, on MD, on Tamori River paper and also on the Cosmo note. So we're done. Quite a bit of testing today with the MD paper, the Tamoy River paper, and of course the Cosmo Note. So what are my, is my personal take on this? I think MD paper is still excellent for its price points. It takes on the inks pretty well. In general, it the inks dry up faster on the MD paper. So if you're left-handed, definitely I think you want it to dry quickly you can stick to the MD paper. I think most of you are watching this because you all want to compare the Cosmo Note with the Tamoy River paper. Since Tamoy River is going out of production, all right, then you want to have a replacement for your go-to paper. I think based on the test today, we can see it's a... The Cosmo Note is a pretty good replacement, I would say. The properties of the paper, I would say Cosmo Note is nice and smooth to write on. Okay, then drying properties wise, um, definitely the paper that will absorb the ink better. It dries faster than the Tamoy River paper, which is notorious for taking a really long time to dry. But of course, that's why it's special to the way it treats the inks. Of course, the Cosmo Note, I think for the vibrancy, maybe it's still a little bit lacking compared to the Tamoy River paper, but generally it takes on most of it very well. And I think at 83 GSM, it takes on ghosting properties much better than a Tamoy River paper, which is only 52 GSM. All right, then of course over here, I think the shimmers work pretty well as well. So I think this is a good compromise. Um, at this price point, of course, it's still a premium paper, but it works really well. And I think most of you will actually enjoy using the Cosmo Note. Is there anything else that you guys want us to test on the different papers, especially this new Cosmo Note, do let us know. Especially if you intend to use it for journaling purposes, then you might want to um, have specific needs, whether is it you want to test with watercolor or some other types of pens. If you like this video, remember to like this video and to subscribe to us. Live simply and write daily.